Welcome to the Pelican News Network. We are the media team for the Baldwin County Virtual School. We cover school events, student spotlights, and so much more. Be sure to tune in weekly for the most up-to-date information about the happenings on our campus. There are three ways to tune in. Right here on our YouTube channel, the Baldwin County Virtual School webpage, and on-campus streaming. Here's what's coming up this week. The first day of fall is September 23rd, and with it brings the season of cooler weather. Or does it? Find out more about the weather, college football, and more right here, right now on PNN. So first up, we're looking at important dates. These include the pass monitoring of September 22nd, the quarter one deadline as discussed last week. Again, please note that all quarter one work is due by the hard stop deadline of 11.59 p.m. The deadline will not be extended, so be sure to get all work completed by then. Work for quarter one cannot be submitted after this time. Other important dates to note include fall break and the e-learning day, taking place on October 10th. Now we transition to local weather. Take it away, Avery. Thank you, Brooklyn. According to local weather reports, we are currently experiencing seasonal temperatures. On Friday, we, it is sunny with a high of 88 degrees and a low of 67 degrees. On Saturday, we also expect a high in 88 degrees and a low in 64 degrees. On Sunday, we start to see those clouds rolling in with a high of 89 degrees and a low of 67 degrees. On Monday, it is also partly cloudy with a high in the 88 degrees and a low of 70 degrees. On Tuesday, it is partly cloudy with a high in 87 degrees and a low of 69 degrees. After monitoring, we have seen that these temperatures have slightly changed, but they are still around this area. That's all for this week's look on local weather. Now let's hear about some college football. As fall makes its entrance onto the scene, so does football season. This week we're looking at the Alabama Crimson Tide, Auburn Tigers, and South Alabama Jaguars. Alabama and Auburn recently won their games on Saturday, September 16th. Alabama against South Florida and Auburn against Sanford University, ending the game 45-13. to The University of South Alabama fought against Oklahoma State last week and won 33-7. Here's a list of this week's upcoming games, times, and locations. Baldwin County Public Schools will present the annual band jamboree on September 26th at 6 p.m. at Daphne High School's Jubilee Stadium. The event will showcase the delightful sounds and sights of each high school band's halftime show. Free admission, concessions will be available. Dear juniors and seniors, on October 17th, there will be a Bowen County College Fair at the Daphne Civic Center from 8.30 to 9.20. At this fair, there will be over 40 college vendors attending. So if you are uncertain of which college will best suit your career's preparatory needs, or you have already found a college but would like more information, this is for you. Some examples of vendors attending are Alabama State University, Auburn University, Faulkner University, and University of Mobile. Permission slips will be posted in the Junior and Senior Counselor Connection Group next week. These permission slips will be due to Ms. Waltina October 12th by email or drop-off. Students are expected to meet BCVS counselors at the Civic Center. I hope to see you there! Each week, the Pelican News Network wants to spotlight the things our students are doing both on campus and off. Are you doing something worth bragging about? Contact Mrs. Payne and submit your entry. Maybe you'll be featured on the next Student Spotlight. September is Suicide Awareness and Prevention Month. It is a month of checking in on loved ones and helping those who are struggling know that they aren't alone and help is available. 2022 was a hard year and heart-wrenchingly 45,900 individuals were lost that year to suicide. This month is all about staying mindful, aware, and helpful to those around you. If you or someone you care about is contemplating self-harm, the official Suicide Prevention Mental Health Crisis Lifeline is 988. Connection prevents suicide, so please make sure to tell your loved ones you care about them and that it's okay to reach out. Everyone here at PNN love and care about you. 
On October 2nd from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m., Congressman Jerry Carl invites all high school students to Academy Night of 2023. For more information, contact the following email on screen. All students who are interested in joining one of the United States Service Academies, including the U.S. Air Force Academy, the Coast Guard Academy, Merchant Marine Academy, Military Academy, and the Naval Academy. This event is open to all high school students, parents, and teachers who are residents of Alabama's first congressional district. Welcome to Club Hub. In this segment, we'll be talking about all things clubs. So buckle up and let's get ready for this week. Attention science students, our mystery festival is now open. That's right. Beginning September 11th, you will have an opportunity to use your science skills to become a crime scene investigator. Stay tuned for more updates and information coming soon. Hey guys, the 2024 Dogwood Trail Pageant is now hosting tryouts. These will take place on Tuesday, September 19th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. or on September 17th from 4 to 6 p.m. at Prodigy Pantry. Also, application days are on Sunday, September 24th from 4 to 6 p.m. or on Tuesday, September 26th from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. For more information, please be sure to see the school website. Here at BCBS, we have so many wonderful students. Let's go see what they're wearing. So my shirt is from Goodwill, my pants are from Lulu, and my shoes are from Hot Loud. Hi, I'm Mr. Aitens. Where is your outfit from? Um, this is uh, from some street on New York. I can't remember the name of the, uh, the particular place, but um, very high end um, on this. I don't usually wear this on Mondays either, so you got me on a good day. I may have exaggerated a little bit, yeah. Where is your from? Where is your from? Students, please make sure that your outfits are school appropriate. We hope to see you on campus soon. Be sure to tune in next week. Bye! Baldwin Preparatory Academy is a new concept designed to prepare students for the future of their choice. Bowen Prep is a full-time campus combining elements of high school, college, and high-tech workplaces. From 10th grade through graduation, students can earn not only high school credit, but college credits and valuable industry credentials. If you're expecting red brick and a bell on top, you're in for a surprise. Just off I-10 in Loxley, we're building one of the most innovative environments on the Gulf Coast. A day at Baldwin Prep is a day custom designed for the way you learn, what you want to learn, and what you want for your future. Even what you want to eat. Baldwin Prep combines the academic rigor of a magnet school with the hands-on experience of a technical program, a combination uniquely designed to meet tomorrow's opportunities. What you learn in the classroom is integrated with what you accomplish in your choice of technical programs. Areas of study include aviation, mechatronics and engineering, health sciences, automotive technology, building construction, cybersecurity, welding, teacher cadet, cosmetology, graphic design, HVAC and electrical, culinary arts. From class time to lunch time, it's a great day at school and a great day at college and a really great day at work. You're a high school student a college student, an intern or pre-apprentice in a high-tech, high-demand field. You're also respected as a manager, the manager of your time, abilities, and goals. You clock in just like a real job. Say goodbye to school uniforms. Students at Baldwin Prep wear real industry-specific uniforms. It's a school day unlike anything you've ever experienced, but you still have the option of pursuing sports and other traditional extracurricular activities. At Baldwin Prep, every day is an opportunity. It's all in the name, Baldwin Preparatory Academy, a new kind of school that prepares students for a new generation of opportunities coming to Baldwin County. High paying careers doing what you're most interested in. It's an opportunity to pursue what matters most to you, career, college, choice.